What we're really trying to do is focus our Army on how do you train to sustain readiness uh, with a ethos of on. fight tonight when you're back in home station. Pick it up. What we've tried to encourage our senior commanders to do is, is talk to our uh, junior leaders about how the Army came out of Operation Desert Storm, uh, reduced 100,000 soldiers in a single year, and over the next decade, developed the finest land power that history has probably ever seen that went to war in 2002 and 2003. That decade of focus is the same focus we will apply um, as we go through this transitional period we're in now to ensure that the Army that we have is as ready as it can be, and it's led by agile and adaptive leaders. Leader development is high on the list of Army priorities. How do you define leaders? Leadership is an asymmetric advantage that the United States Army has uh, at its disposal. What gives me great confidence as we get smaller uh, as, as an Army is we have the deepest, widest bench of combat experienced leaders we've ever had in our Army. And they're exceptional leaders. They will help us lead this Army through this period of transition as long as we continue to develop them and enable them through mission command to lead their uh, areas of responsibility uh, with the right resources, the right guidance, and really the right left and right limits to be able to fulfill the great potential that they have.